Hey, what's going on, YouTube Nation? Hey, I'm hanging out at the park, and I'm getting ready to go. The sun is going down, and I've just been doing a little meditation and praying about some things here as I walk and get my steps in. That's what I do a lot of times. I just go to the park and just walk and I just think about God's Word and just meditate on His Word. And I know that uh, this channel here, Real Life, Real Situations, real solutions for real life situations that's what we talk about we, we we talk about hey what are you going through how do we get through it how do we get to the other side that's what my channel is all about and i appreciate if you subscribe and give me some likes if that's what you are about saying hey i ain't got time for no foolishness i'm going through some stuff and i want to talk to somebody who know what they talking about i want to talk to somebody and listening to somebody's channel who done been through some stuff before and who could tell me something because man, it ain't, it's hard out here. Uh, don't waste your time listening to the local uh, me, uh, social media about who's sleeping with who and who's going. That that's not going to help you. But when you're talking about real life situations and going through some real stuff that affects you, your family, your 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 whole dynamics of life, that's the kind of stuff I want to listen to. Cause I'm trying to go somewhere in life, and I don't have time to be sitting here listening to a bunch of foolishness. And I want to talk to somebody about financial freedom today. I want to talk to somebody who is going through some financial stuff, somebody who's lost their job, who got laid off, and some people who just need more money. I mean, you know, inflation, inflation is what it, it is, what it is. Um, we living in a time now where, um, you know, the dollar just doesn't go any, go as far as it used to go. All the groceries have went up. I mean even boxes of cereal i was in the store the other day boxes of cereal almost six five six seven dollars for a box of cereal and i said this is crazy this is crazy you know and i just said man this is and people are people going through and you know people going back to them days where you had to choose between paying your rent or buying grocery or, or pay your light bill or pay half of it and, and buy grocery uh, and get gas in your car to go to work. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's real. These are real life situations and real life issues that we go through. But I wanna pray for somebody tonight. Like I said, I had a lot of prayers. I've been through a lot in my life. You know, Uncle T will be 60 years old in about two more weeks. Hey, I look pretty good, man. My kids tell me all the time, my, girl, my, my daughter's boyfriend always tell me, uh, man, he does not look like a 60 year old man. His body doesn't look like it. He looks like he's a bodybuilder. Uh, I, I just take care of myself and I, and I, and I do what I need to do. Um, but I just want to talk to somebody about uh, going through financial issues because I've been there, done that. Living check to check. Sometimes a check don't even make it to the next check. Uh, it's, it would... I can't I can't say enough. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get into this prayer. Heavenly Father, I come to you today to ask for a financial blessing to improve my life. My faith keeps me strong and I know you will provide for me and my family. I don't seek nor ask for all the money in the earth. I only ask for enough to relieve my financial worries and ease the stress. I know and I trust that my debts will be paid and money will flow into my life. I release all negative thoughts about money and I need your guidance to help me learn to manage my finances wisely, Lord. Help me not to just buy everything that's on sale because somebody makes it sound like a good deal. Is it a need or is it a want? Seeking help where needed, Lord. Lord, I ask you to help me understand my purpose in life and to act on that purpose with courage and strength. I know prosperity will come. In the name of the Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, amen. And one of the things that I do ask you is that when you're talking about finances, always ask yourself, is this a want or need? When I see something, do I just want it or do I really need it? If you need it, like a stove, a refrigerator, uh, gas in your car, that's a need. But if it's a want because I like this pretty dress, I like this pretty pair of shoes, 
or I like this uh, this new F-150. Is that a is that a want or is that a need? If it's a want, you could put it on the back burner and get it at some other time. That's one way is to looking at whether something is a want and need, and you cut back on spending foolishly. Um, also, with the, with your with finances, um, spend less than what you um, than what you. Um, that's, that's what's required to um, try to cut everything you can in your household budget uh, what's not needed but these are just some tips because I got another lesson that's coming up about how to budget and what God says about finances and what God says about debt and things of this nature that's coming up here probably next week if you would just um, you know if this has been a blessing to you I appreciate it if you would subscribe hit that like button and share Hit that notification bell so you'll be uh, notified whenever new lessons come out. I would really appreciate it. And I love you with the love of the Lord. And when we talk again, I appreciate you. Real Life, Real Life Solutions with Uncle T. Talk to you later.